All right, here we go. In three, two, uh-huh. one. Yeah, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Go to bed, depending where you are on this planet when you're listening to this, when we upload this. You know the deal. My name's Josh Jackal. This is my bro, Caleb. And today, we have a very special guest. Not, not, n- no one could even touch this kid. This person is a champion. This person right here will be known for decades and decades as annoying. <laughs> this person right here is my amazing sister, Naomi Jackal. Say what up to the two people listening. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh my God. I feel so great to finally be here for the first time after so many episodes. Thank you oh, yes, so much, yes, brothers. Yes. For inviting me over, well, we had this to. It's been great. You accommodated one of the uh, one of the episodes earlier in the season, and I appreciate that. And no we just came off a crazy trip to the mountains with this huge fam jam of ours. Mom, dad, six six of us kids. We're not even kids anymore. <laughs> Caleb, right over here, he's like forty five, <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, we all went to the mountains. It was extraordinary. Um, but I just realized I didn't introduce it. So this is this week in sports. Anyways, we will get to Blue Jays uh, in this episode. We will get to, uh, maybe a little bit of NFL talk and the Elks. Um, I think we had an interesting game last night, but the story was our trip to the, uh, where did we go? We went to Banff. We went to Calgary. It was, it was crazy. Canmore, Lake Louise. We went everywhere. And, I mean, from the start, it was dope. Yeah, I mean, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Fucking relax. Well, yeah. Um, there's, yeah. There were so many great times, so many memorable mo- moments. There was a, I there took was a videos. Ton. I tried to just capture it in my mind the whole time. Oh, so many fun. laughs, so many cries. It's just like a family opportunity that we haven't had in a long time. Yeah, it was with everyone. So. And, the, and it was cool that we we rented a Benz, <laughs> a Mercedes Benz for this trip. And uh, it, was, it was dope. It took a little more time off. My boss is going to fucking hate me. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Well, like, it was funny. Oh, man. On Friday, um, because I, I always, like, get off early, and, like, um, I'm late sometimes. And she loves you. She loves me. She does love you. Yeah. You, you got to admit. You yeah, yeah. You told me these stories. <laughs> yeah. So, um, on, what was it, Thursday? Oh, no, Friday, because I didn't see her on Thursday. I was, like, on Friday morning, she's, like, uh, I, was, I was, like, a minute or two late. And she's, like, at the, at the end of the meeting, she's, like, um, let's make a deal. If you are... Because we actually had a bet already for five bucks on some other shit. And she's like, double or nothing. If you're here on time and for six days in a row, then then uh, we're even. And I'm like, you forgot. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking time off next week. And then she's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then and then I I, I think she I knew she forgot about uh, taking time off this weekend. <laughs> so she went away and I'm like, oh, I feel I was so fucking. Yo, yo, turn off the chunky soup. Turn off the oh, chunky, shit, the chunky soup. soup. Is it burnt? <laughs> no the way. chunky soup. Is it burnt? Oh my god. Yeah, don't scoop it. Yeah. Just dump it. Don't put it back on the stove. <laughs> 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 of course, these family outings were all over yeah. crazy. That was on me. Um, totally forgot about it. She doesn't know how to make chunky soup. Sorry, Not folks. Not really, no. Yeah. Can't stuff. My partner makes real good food. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> not really <laughs> anyway so yeah my boss i had told her i felt really bad about it and I, I had to get off early on friday to go pick up the car right the, the mercedes-benz that we rented at four o'clock because normally i work till five and i told I, I told her that and she's like no you can't do that i'm like come on please like like I, I rented this thing she's like no i'm like okay well what if i finish uh the work that i was doing i'm like well, if i finish this this project then can i go she's like okay deal yeah, I'm okay, okay, cool. So, so we so we went hard. It. We went hard, yeah. Probably during that whole day. Balls. Yeah. Yeah, we did. But we got her done. 
and I was able to go home. I rented the Benz. Thank you, High thank five you. To that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rented the Benz. Beautiful Benz. It was uh three hundred, uh, some series. I don't know. I could look it up. Um, beautiful car. Three fifty. Oh, it was a three hundred. Oh, yeah, three hundred. Little smoky. Oh yeah, this chunky soup. If you all want to hear my sister eat, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you have Chris yeah, no. Uh, yeah. So we got the bands picked up. Uh, picked up the kids, right? And then cruised by the kids. I mean, like these two right here. <laughs> Who else did we roll with there? I thought it was forty-five. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Forty-five. To Caleb. Oh yeah. Never mind. Caleb's forty-five. Um, <laughs> no, it was, it was Shemai and Jaden. Oh yeah. Shemai so yeah, yeah. We sister. rolled over there. We picked them up. Went down. We were trying to go out. And we got down the there. The first night. The first night in, in Calgary. Calgary. Yeah. But it was uh everything was like shut down. We didn't realize last call right now is freaking ten o'clock, ten PM. So we try to go out, we try to go to like two different places and both were closed. And then the funny thing was is we were so far. We were like fifteen minutes away. Um the chunky soup? No chunky soup. You don't like the chunky soup? Anyways. I just can't taste it. We were so it. far away um from the hotel. It was ironic that we only went to two places and we were like 20 minutes down the road. Went back to the hotel, just skipped the bo- skipped the dish, the booze that night, right? Mm-hmm. Well, because I came through, no one would have thought about it, but it wasn't for me. I was like, you know what? We can't go out. I'll skip us some liquor. That's what it has yeah. to be done. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. I, I, y- exactly. Came through in the clutch. In the clutch. Ninth inning. No, but Boom. Grant made it. Came through. Remember Grant? Grant, the our, guy. Uh, the, yes, yes. Our skip delivery yeah. man. Yeah, that's came through. Exactly. You're the one who got on base. Grant hit you home. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grant, Grant was this is solid. Fuck yeah! Picked up the booze. Shout out to Grant. Mm-hmm. Picking up our booze, and uh, we had a we had a good Friday night. We woke up on Saturday. Saturday was was where it's at. Um, went to got to Banff on Saturday. Our mama got us the nicest, shout out to our mama, got us like the nicest room in like downtown Banff. There's like no Solid. downtown, but like middle of Banff. Really, really nice rooms. She also got the rooms in Calgary, yeah. um, but the ones at Banff were amazing. Wasn't well, often we get to go on family and like this, right? Exactly. The whole family. Yeah, the whole, whole family. family. Yeah, there was exactly like 10 of us. Like literally like me, Josh, you, Caleb, her, Naomi. Uh, Shamaya, my other sister, uh, her boyfriend Jaden, um, our brother Isaiah. Sorry, sorry, I was trying to do it in order, right? Yeah. Our brother Isaiah, our uh, other sister Israel, uh, our mother, uh, Virginia, and our, our our father. Shout out to Bert. Yeah. Are we missing? Oh, and the star of the show. The star of the show. The my star, boy. his boy. Oh. Zebulon. Zebulon. Yes. The cutest kid in like the world. Everyone says that about their kids, but people say that about their kids when they're ugly. You got ugly <laughs> kids. You got a cute kid. He's got he's got the long hair. This kid is a, this kid's for a fact. Here's a fact. This Water. kid will tell you every single country on this planet. Oh, he did do it twice. He did do it twice. He's four for the context. He's four. Mud pies. Exactly. <laughs> every planet. Every, well, now I'm sounding like I'm bragging. Oh, yeah. No, no. no every. Dude, you got to be proud. You're a proud dad. All the moons of every of the planet in the solar system. That's fucking crazy to me. Like, he's he te- he schools me on some of this shit. He knows his, he knows his French alphabet, his Spanish alphabet, his Russian alphabet. He's kind of weird. He's like, I mean, he's like, he's really sweet and really nice, but it's like, it's kind of weird how smart he is. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna be one of those nerds, but nerds are are in. Thank God now. Yeah, Yeah. he can do whatever he wants. This kid's a fucking genius, and it's just a fact. Like, it's it's a fact. And plus, he's gonna be good looking. So exactly, yes. Yeah, good genes, good genes in this fam. Yeah. So, back to the uh, the Bamp story. Like I said, we will get to, uh, oh my God, Cronenberg splashing around. I know, that is mine. <laughs> Saturday was where it's at. We all went up on the gondola. It was 
what as you expect a big family doing stuff it's a lot of moving pieces and it was hilarious it was entertaining it was frustrating as fuck sometimes but we that's got just a, how our family is though well, that's how every family that's how any group of people of 10 people trying to do the same thing that's how it, it's just that's how it's gonna go but especially ours well especially <laughs> when it's family yeah. like it's even it's like one of those uh vacation movies yeah and we have a very diverse of like characters in our family too right like we're all very different from each other and we're all very same yeah. in a lot of ways yeah but we're also very different yeah which can be very conflicting at numerous times so it's sometimes it's frustrating but we get to it anyways we had a crazy time with the gondola a gondola was amazing Yes. We took that hike mm-hmm. up a mountain, up a mountain, and well, no, no, it was upstairs. Well, I was wearing shorts <laughs> and sandals on top of a mountain that we gondoled up to, right? And I was freezing, especially when it started to rain. Oh, I regretted every choice I made that day. But I thought you were a triathlon fucking competitor. Well, yeah, but they don't freeze for a living, man. They they compete in water, at least my type. Well, I'm just saying, I thought you were an athlete. Like, does that that involve cold? <laughs> sure sure fuck yeah anyway so we uh we took up the stairs up to this the peak the other peak after the gondola i'm sure everyone that took that gondola has seen it and um a little house up there that used to be used for meteor- meteorological meteorological meteorologist purposes meteorological <laughs> I swear it's meteorologist type. Person. No, no, it's, 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 it's yeah, it's meteorologist. It's meteorological. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Meteorological. Studies, studies, yeah. Meteorological, meteorological studies. Uh, so weather, obviously. Fucking, we're a bunch of retards right here. <laughs> but um, it was taking a bunch of data. It was built in like the 1800s. This little house on top of this peak, and uh, we went up to it, and it, it's actually incredible to see that it was still standing there. And like the way they built that was built to last. Well, also it's also for those hikers that hike a mountain, right? And they have to stay somewhere in a snow. Yeah, I, re- I read the thing they had. Yeah, buddy, uh, the the guy it was up to one guy for like thirty years. Um, he would cl- he climbed the mount- mountain over a thousand times over thirty years, and, and collected. Uh, let's not try to do that word again. Uh, he, he, he collected weather, weather data. Weather data, yeah, yeah, for for the federal government, right? To like actually like when they first started recording, uh, t- like temperatures and whatnot. And uh, so we 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 rolled up there, and then we came down. We had we had dinner at the keg. Amazing, amazing din din, obviously. Super but it was hilarious, horrible. obviously, right? Ten of us. It's like it was like a movie the whole time, man. It was you could make like a whole fucking thing about it. Also, the struggle of just ordering. Oh yeah. My or, oh my god, <laughs> ordering at a freaking oh with ten people absolutely yeah they had to put they had to put like three or four tables together for us Mm -hmm. and just like half the chairs in the building to for the whole fucking fam but in the heart of bam like it's not like we've ever been able to do something like that before you know oh it was amazing it was so much it was incredible i was sitting there eating that eating that steak and i was looking looking at all y'all and i was like oh it made my heart warm (laughs) mine was already warm because i have a little bit of a <laughs> just kidding. No, I just had a couple too many drinks that evening, yeah. so I sure. was very warm. <laughs> and I was just looking at y'all, and I was like, "Damn, this this doesn't happen too often." This one, mm-hmm. well, this particular thing right here will never happen again. We'll all be older when that happens again, right? Well, except for when we're taking our parents to Jasper, right? And then we're going down to the to yeah, the yeah. Line. No, but we'll still be a little bit older too. It'll never be like that exact thing. This, and we don't know. If, one, we don't know if it's this. We don't know if it's this year, and we don't know. When exactly? And also, what kind of life changes we have at that point, right? Whether True. or not we have other party members coming along with yeah, us, or yeah. yeah, partners exactly. Um, so that was amazing going to the cake, and then me and Naomi, <laughs> we went out. Uh, last call was still only at ten, so we were we were we were oh, exploring. 8 p.m. It was eight, and then uh, yeah, it was. Oh, I don't even know how to put this in the words. We see, I see the greatest guitar performance live i've ever seen mm-hmm. at this bar at the end of the night after we went to a couple bars well went, we wouldn't have even made our way back there if the guy at keg didn't recommend oh it was homie a keg that yeah. recommended it yeah, yeah. rose and crown 
Rose and Crown shout out. Rose and Crown down, downtown. Yeah. So Live music. Backstory, right? A little bit of backstory involving kind of all falling together, right? Not only did the guy recommend, but part of the performance kind of was was uh, alluded oh. to earlier in our travels. That yes. Time. Oh, yes. Caleb here, he, uh, when we were driving, he recommended Superstition. Just out of the blue, you know, it's a good song. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder, yeah. And we were listening to it, and we are having just a blast. We yeah. didn't even want to finish it. I, re- I, I re-requested it. That was the only song I re-requested yeah. of the whole weekend up to that point. Right? Because I'm like, I love that song, right? Obviously, mm-hmm. right? It's got a good uh, uh, riff. And um, when we go to watch these li- this live band, the last song they play very superstitious. <laughs> right. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, they're killing it. Naomi has a fucking video of the whole song. Oh, they're boy, killing it. it. They're killing it. And about about after like the first verse, the lead singer guitarist, it's a three-person band. The lead, lead uh obviously guitar, bass and drums. The lead guitarist pulls the the top string out. I, I wish I knew more about guitar. Pull, pulls the top string out of the fucking guitar. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then John, he's like, is that a prop? Yeah, I thought it was a prop initially. Yeah, it was like a rock band pop or something. And I was like, I don't know, man. I don't know. And then he rips the second one out <laughs> as as they're playing the song. The and and keeping it going. Why? He keeps playing very superstition. Just going off, right? Just oh it was so like, it was so hype. It was. It wasn't even like that big of a bar, but there was a lot of people in there. We we, we were talking to a couple of people from uh, from the states, from Germany. People were breaking it down. It was like it felt like it was normal times. And then the third string comes out, and he's still playing it. They're still rocking. Four, fifth, he's playing with one string. This motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, I was so mind blown. Like the video, you could just hear us. Like, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> After every single time yeah. Was off, I was just it was. I just had my hands on my head. By the time it was down to one string, and then he pulled the last string out, and then he started playing with the ends of the string. No, so he like gathered all the string up. Yeah, got, put it to the freaking board of the guitar. A board, of, and it just kept going. Went off. The always. most rock and roll shit I've ever seen yeah. in my fucking life. You think that stuff only happens in the eighties? No, man, we see that stuff. And we're just I like, couldn't even whoa. think of that shit. Like that's so unique. And he killed it. They killed it. Do you remember what their band was? Jesse's Road. Jesse's Road. Josh says possibly with an H with uh, in Road. Yeah, well that's um, usually how the last name is spelled for Road. Such an amazing performance. I don't think I could have ever forget something that amazing. And on top of all of that this weekend. The Jays, the oh Blue Jays, God. scored 44 runs in the last, like, less than 48 hours. And my brother did not even know on Saturday until we were out at the bar, sitting at our first bar yeah. to have a drink. He looks at the screen, and he's just flabbergasted. Josh is like, just what? raving about it in the bar. Well, yeah, because both games, there was a doubleheader on Saturday. We were obviously busy doing all this shit on Saturday that I missed the games. Um, well, the majority of the games. And the first game, we came back in the seventh inning. Um, we were down 10-7. And we came back to win 11-10 to in the first game, which is crazy. And then we're sitting at the bar in Banff, and I'm watching the TV. I forgot it was a doubleheader. The score was uh, 11-1. to in the seventh inning. And I thought that the Orioles somehow scored like nine runs and made it close. But no, that was the second game and it was live. And we scored 11 runs in one inning. In the seventh inning. Insane. In the seventh inning. And in the last inning, because they only play seven innings when it's a double header in baseball. And we scored 11 in one inning, one of the most historic innings in Blue Jays history. Like, hands down. Uh, we never scored that many runs in one inning ever. And um, it's it was just incredible that I actually got to witness uh, the last end of it just at the bar. And it was ironic that I thought it was the first game. And it, in both games, it scored 11 runs. And then today, um, well, as we were checking out of the hotel in Banff, 
I was watching the game. I love, I love the fucking future. Well, where we're at, right? Yeah. How how I was able to sit in the bends, watch the Blue Jays game on my phone as we were waiting for everyone to get out. You know, the the twelve of us to leave the fucking hotel. And I was watching the game, and I watched uh, the first inning. We scored five runs before there was one out in the entire game. Jeez. Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> we are on fire right now. Yeah. Like, from start to finish. And it was, it ended up turning into, like, an embarrassing, an embarrassing thing for... Well, throughout the travels, throughout the travels today, we were checking... Checking the score every now and then. And uh, when we were at Lake Louise, you asked me to pull up the score. Yeah. And, and I that was, same game. Yeah. Earlier. And I was shocked as soon as I opened my phone. I was like, you're not going to believe it, dude. I'm like, no way. He shows yeah. it to me. It's 16 4 in like the fourth, fourth or fifth inning. I'm like, no fucking way. Like, and then it just kept going. It just kept going. We ended up scoring 22 runs. 22 runs in one fucking game. We scored 22 runs yesterday. And- which is crazy in two games. Yeah. Which is fucking crazy in, in two games. This has to be this I guarantee you that this is an MLB record. Um if we had some sponsors, maybe I could actually look it up and okay, just joking. But it has to be an MLB record. Forty four forty four runs. Are they playing again tomorrow? They are. Uh, against who? I don't know. I've been busy. Don't put me on the spot like that. <laughs> yeah. But I just mean like, you know, we're all hoping they have a good game tomorrow. And it's like, what if they have a really good game tomorrow? And then, you know, records usually come in threes, right? So it's like the most oh. runs in three days. Or the most runs in like, well, I guess most runs in three games. Is what we're it was go. already already happened. Yeah. Three games in, in two days. It had 44 runs. So, yeah, they scored 11 in the first game, 11 in the second game, and then 22 runs today incredible the jays are on fire and we are in a playoff spot we are in a fucking playoff spot now and um tied with the yankees tied with the red Sox. um and the best thing is where we're gonna finally get some recognition from the united states fans because we are competing with these big name big big name teams which yankees, usually red Sox. in my opinion is pretty hard to do within any sport of course. It's hard for Canadian teams to get recognition from a lot of American. It is. It's very hard. Because there's just so many teams. Mm-hmm. They're conquering everything. And there's there's just so many more people down there that want to hear about their teams, right? Yep. They don't exactly, care about the yeah. Canadian teams. So the fact that um, the Jays are rocking it and taking it to the Yankees. We swept the Yankees in four games before they're shellacking. Um. <laughs> In the Bronx, we, we swept the Yankees four games in New York, which never happens. The last time that has happened, uh, it was in 2002. Ironically, it was to the Jays, too. No but that way. was like almost 20 years ago, the last time that happened. No, no one has swept the Yankees in a four-game series in the Bronx, in, in New York, since that. And this is the first time since, I think it was the 40s. Um. Or 30s. It was like almost a hundred years ago that the Yankees, uh, the last time the Yankees got swept four games in New York, with and never had the lead. The Jays had the lead during that entire series, lead or tied. The the, the Yankees never once in that entire four game series had the lead, and that that hasn't happened in like freaking decades. So the Jays caught fire at the right time. And I'm super fucking excited. I'm so excited uh, for tomorrow, the next day, because oh, they play every day, obviously, right? So, and me, you know, not knowing too much about sports, except for when my brothers rave about it, or especially Josh. Um, it's just nice to see Josh is ecstatic. You know, he literally got out of the car earlier. We're in Lake Louise. Lake Louise. He got out of the car when it's raining, threw his hands in the air, and was like, "Yeah." Well, we found out the Blue Jays were doing so good. Well, like, yeah. Well, because it's we're hitting on all cylinders right now like everyone's on fire on the jays and it's the perfect time for the jays to catch fire the playoffs are coming up we were out of the playoffs like two weeks ago now we're in a playoff spot and 
this this is the best time to fucking to catch to catch heat when you're when you're a baseball player in September. Go go in hot in October. Go to the playoffs. Take those first couple games. You know, take that first fucking series. You know, take that second series, and then get to the World Series. See what happens. Exactly. That literally sounds a great plan to me. It's pretty optimistic. I mean, considering the Jays are, are still pretty young, but um, just make the playoffs, and you have a fucking chance. Exactly. That's what it comes down to. Uh, so go Jays, go. I'm excited for the the upcoming uh, stretch drive here. And also, just in my opinion, I feel like once teams get into the playoffs, there's just so much pressure; it kind of overwhelms them. Well, that's what. Yeah. That's why it would be to our disadvantage, though, because our a lot of our youngsters haven't been there. Oh. And the teams we would be going up against um, are the best teams, and they've all been there. Are they all more older than a lot of our youngsters? Well, yeah. Really? So we have way more youngsters than usual on the Blue Jays. Yeah, we're a really young team. Well, I mean, there are veterans, right? Like our pitchers, we have some veteran pitchers and whatnot. But yeah. when our, our lineup is like our, our hitting lineup and the, the players that play in the field and whatnot, they're, um, the average age of them is under 30, under like even 28. Oh, my God. Yeah, the average age, age is younger than my old ass. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, No, but um. No, no. The uh, the NFL uh, started this week. We were watching a couple games uh, in passing and whatnot, and Tom Brady obviously comes out week one. You mean football? Wins it. You mean football? You said hockey. And say hockey. Oh, maybe it's just me. Oh wow. <laughs> Our guest is deaf. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have that uh, old. Actually, I am actually deaf too. I mean, I've I've been to so much live music, and everything, like, like all these festivals. I I I've seen every every band that I could see. I I seen. Oh, I've been to so many of these festivals and so many live so much live music that my hearing is, um, not even close. It's like probably eighty percent. Gonna be that like seven year old hearing like, aid. Probably, <laughs> I'm like eighty percent was generous. Generous. I was, my hearing is like fifty percent. But anyways, no one wants to listen. I don't even want to listen to myself. So, fuck my hearing. Throw in some screamo music and we'll call it a day. <laughs> oh my god, me when I was fourteen. <laughs> oh yeah, is that what you were about back in the day? I had my phases. <laughs> Every every phase imaginable, eh? Yeah. I mean, I thought everyone did, but I guess that's pretty out of the blue or what? I never liked screamo music. It was like two months. Everyone was into <laughs> it. It was junior high. I was following the waves. It was the trend at the time. Also, that goddamn hair. Oh, my God. I did you have the hair? Never forget, I never forget the hair. You had the hair? Yeah, man. The, the, the hair that went over your bangs. I mean, your full forehead, it was like bangs that would cover your full forehead. Terrible. I didn't even like to think about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, like you said, we all we all have our phases. And um, I never was able to grow long hair, thank God, because I was such a big head. It would have been, <laughs> uh, been bad. As I uh, flip through... Some of these headlines that we've all seen. Layla Fernandez in the U.S. Open did not bring home the bacon, but still good on her for representing, getting a lot of new fans, getting a lot of new eyes on uh, Canadian athletics, Canadian tennis. So. Did she make it to the end? Yeah, she made it to the final. She played the final today. Um, she lost to, oh my god, I thought Layla was young, at nineteen playing in the U.S. final. Who she lost to was eighteen. Uh, I don't know her name because, <laughs> well, fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ouch! No. But fair, understandable. No, it your was, frustration. <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I, I was. I was pissed. And I, I no, no. Congratulations to her. That was a joke, obviously. Congratulations. I just don't know her name. Um, not a huge tennis follower, but uh, I was obviously hoping the Canadian would win. Yeah, it's like you see a Canadian come up in a sport, and obviously you're gonna watch, even if of course you don't really, you know, love yeah. a certain sport or whatnot. Yeah, I'm I'm not obviously an avid tennis watcher. That's why I don't know this uh, 18 year old Brit's name. But congratulations to her. Um, um, good for her. But uh, I was hoping Layla would, was gonna follow in the Bianca's um, footsteps, who won it a couple couple years ago. Bianca was a Canadian player. Yeah, uh, Andrescu. Uh, she won it in 2019. Oh wow! Which, yeah, it took the world by storm. It's a lot of pressure, though. You it's a ton carry of pressure. On the, the the crown, man. Yeah. So the fact that uh, that there was an 18 year old and a 19 year old playing at this U.S. Open final, it was actually quite astonishing. So the fact that uh, an 18 year old took it home, mind blowing. Right. Mind blowing. But I'm sure when they're on the court, like they don't even fathom what age each other are, you know. Of course not, of course not. But it's just crazy, like how um, they can like deal with the pressure and whatnot, and just like Being zoning, so young, so young, and still able to perform at that level is quite admirable. So, congrats to the uh, to the Brit. Also, though, congrats to our Canadian player for passing so many people along the way. The fact that she even got to the end, that is so, uh, that is just so, I, 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 as a Canadian, I can be so proud to see that, you know. I'll second that. I'll second sure. that. Uh, I'm so proud to be Canadian when I'm watching uh, people perform at that level. So, Leila Fernandez, thank you. Yes, thank you so much for getting to the end. Yeah, I was going to get into uh, the NFL, but I mean, I, I missed a lot of it. I don't, I got to get, to, I got to get on TSN. I got to download TSN, but TSN, you don't have a fucking app. For a fucking PlayStation, <laughs> but get on your yeah. Fuck shit. you. I'm all almost. I'm all about Sportsnet. Sportsnet now. You guys get Sportsnet now if you have a PlayStation because that's the only fucking app you can get. Yeah, TSN. Come on, make your actually. You know what I'm gonna do? Your channel way more. You know what I'm gonna do right now? Please. I'm gonna get the Zone. The Zone has NFL package. Fuck TSN. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no, watch, watch, watch. They'll hire me or something, right? And they'll look through this and they'll be like, "Oh my god, this guy like hated on us." No, I would love to work for TSN like that, obviously. For sure. But, uh, but you can understand the fact, frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact they don't have a PlayStation app is ridiculous. It's so, and it's sure, so dumb. And you sure? And I'm sure that they're probably working on it right now. You know, people probably told them about it. I hope so. Come on, youngsters. They're all about these consoles. Yeah, of true. Of course, that. they probably even wrote letters, emails. Let it, they wrote letters? These, these youngsters wrote letters. <laughs> well, the old people, but, you know, some people still write letters. I like to write letters. The old people... That played PlayStation wrote letters. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> it's my friend I'm who's kidding. like forty. She uses PlayStation just for streaming video, yeah. like things like Twitch and YouTube. Well, you you're on Netflix. Twitch too. Do you want to any plug any of your shit or what? Well, I guess yeah. Since you mentioned it, yeah, I am a Twitch streamer. Um, my Twitch channel is Naomi, capital N, lowercase A, capital O R, lowercase M I. Uppercase E. So Naomi. <laughs> Over there laughing, this guy. But anyways, yeah, thank you for the for the offer to plug, brother. Well, of course, you're my guest. This is Naomi Jackal. She's our sister. And we just came off this bimf bimf trip. <laughs> bimf? Or this bimf trap. This bamf trip. And uh I thought, you know, invite her on that podcast, get a new little flavor in here. Talk a little about about the trip. Um Get your insight on all this. Uh, no, it was well. completely awesome. You guys even find me on here. Um, I know it's been a long time coming. Uh, there's been some long time times. coming. It's oh, all, I think it's like episode what eleven or some shit. Eleven <laughs> is a lot for not having your sister on here. Ten. Ten. Uh, oh, is this ten? Oh my god. So that's why yeah, this is a special edition. Okay. Then. Yeah, special edition. Naomi Jack on here, oldest sister of the fam. Bum, 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 a big bam. fam, yo. Yeah. Great time. Thank you so much. Yeah. I am Josh Jacko. Our producer is Caleb. My brother, Caleb Jacko. This is uh, Naomi Jacko, our special guest. Check out her, our, her uh, Twitch stream. We are the Jackos. We'll definitely be hearing more from Naomi probably in the future. Most definitely. We're going to get you back on there, sis. Yeah. Yeah. And 
This has been This Week in Sports. Thank you all for listening.